All right, Cubs fam, the moment we have been waiting for for today. CG did promise that they were going to drop the next round of uh, GL Kenobi Rex. I have just seen the post has gone live. Props to CG for uh, giving us that on the day that they promised. And at a pretty reasonable time here, it's before 2 o'clock right now as I'm recording this uh, Pacific Standard Time. So I have not seen them. I have not peeked at all. I'm going to just, I just came right to the camera. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to react to this with you guys here on this video. And let's get right into it and see what we're up against. I'm going to, I've got it set here. I can only see this top a uh, bit of the post, which confirms some double drops. So here we go. Um, Hi, Hollow Table Heroes. We have an update later today to add the second set of requirements for Jedi Master Kenobi to the journey guide. Now, there was also, I, I want to call out before we get to this, there was some concern over whether or not Kenobi would have a Jedi tag. The more I think about it, it's called Jedi Master Kenobi. I don't think we need to be worried about that. I, I think maybe they'll carve out some synergy so that he's mostly working with Galactic Republic even though he's a Jedi, kind of like they tried to do with some other Jedi. But I, I, anyway, I just wanted to throw that out there. We also have Double Drop starting May 22nd. And uh, so that's great. May 22nd is going to be Saturday. Uh, so here we go. All right. Here we go. All right. Let's see. Galactic Legends Group 2. Qui-Gon Jinn. Qui-Gon Jinn. Ma Magna Guard. What? Okay, Clone Sergeant. So Qui-Gon Jinn and uh, Clone Sergeant are understandable. What? Tambor and General Grievous. Okay. Um, this is unexpected in a lot of ways. Uh, Qui-Gon Jinn makes sense to me. Uh, Clone Sergeant makes sense to me. General Grievous even makes sense to me. What Tambor, I'm actually really happy about. Um, not because, I, I, I think the concern, this makes me think that Cam might be required. Because Watt Tambor, obviously, in the GOTB, we thought maybe they wouldn't require, uh, those characters as a result. But, hey, we've got Watt Tambor in there. Magna Guard is like, okay, they're connected to General Grievous. So, um, but I could see that I'm actually, so these requirements I'm actually really pleased with, um, in a lot of ways. Now, number one, uh, Qui-Gon Jinn, I think is, is a must, uh, Clone Sergeant, eh, you know, all right. But Magna Guard, very useful. That's actually a character I don't have relic yet that I've been wanting to relic. And Wat Tambor, exact same scenario. I really want to take my Wat to relics. I just have not done that yet. Uh, for, you know, just for several, several random reasons. I just, I just haven't got there yet. I think Watt's a character you can kind of get away with not being relic, um, because his utility is kind of done without, uh, without the relics there. Uh, but let's see here. I'll, so I'll, I'll pull these characters up here. Here's my account right here. Uh, Watt Tambor. Um, we've got, uh, well, why? <laughs> I'm gonna slap that on right now. Let's go. <laughs> We're gonna, uh, favorite your boy Watt. Uh, put him up there, Jedi, uh, let's see, Qui-Gon, I think he's gear 11, yep, but one away from gear 12, and so that's not gonna be too bad for me, um, uh, let me know where you guys are at, uh, the other one was Magna, and yeah, Magna, I have not taken to gear 13 yet, and so we're gonna, we're gonna take him up there, and then, of course, the other one, Clone Sergeant, um, who is, of course, sitting at gear 12 for me, and am I missing anyone there, we have... Uh, Wat Tambor, Qui-Gon Jinn, Magna Guard Sergeant, and, um, I'm missing one here, uh, oh, Grievous, who's already, of course, uh, Relic 7 for me, and so I've got no problems there. So, anyway, interesting take. Uh, s some takeaways from this are that, uh, I, th I think that this makes it more intriguing to me on if Cam will be required or not. Uh, because Watt is there, I think a big reason why I did not think that uh, Watt would be required is because he's so exclusive to that light side territory battles. And so, are they going to make Watt Tambor uh, available in other areas of the game? I think is one of the big questions. Uh, and there's there's more to this post. And so let's see. Well, well celebration of newly announced GLK. Um, all dark side battles are rewarding double drops on May twenty third, twenty second, twenty third. This does not include GL event tickets. And so that's all they're saying. I, I love that. It's celebration of 
the new farms that we're giving you. <laughs> it's a celebration. It's celebration of the money that we are going to make from announcing these requirements. Here's some double drops so you can spend even more money. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, but no, I always appreciate double drops, CG. Let's be clear here, okay? I'm not complaining. I'm just pointing out the irony in the celebratory statement. Um, so anyway, um, Grievous makes sense. Uh, I, I saw a lot of people predict Grievous. A big reason why I did not think that Grievous would necessarily make the list is because everybody has him at Relic 7. Like, he's so many people's first Relic 7 character. And so props to CG for including Grievous on this. Honestly, props. Uh, because it's basically a null requirement for so many people. Like, okay, he's there. Check. Done. You know? Uh, that's how it is for me. Uh, Magna Guard, in, in a lot of ways, is kind of the same way. I haven't gotten around to farming Magna Guard, but that's kind of where I'm at. Wat Tambor, Relic 7. Sweet. I don't have him there. It's going to take me a little bit to get there, but I've, I've really wanted to get him there. And so and so I'm 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 okay with that. Qui-Gon Jinn, Clone Sergeant, not as usable. But so far, uh, if you look at all of the requirements that are there, a, a good amount of the characters are useful so far. Uh, this is a more useful batch than the last one. The last one, obviously, Bo-Katan. Eh, you know, she's new. She's all right. She's got some use. Uh, I think a lot of people are by and large disappointed with her. Mace Windu. Is extremely OP. Um, you know, it's hard to get over that. Uh, the, uh, obviously, we had Aelin there, you know, kind of usable. And uh, the, the Negotiator, which was great to see as well. Um, and then, um, what was the other? There's one more that I'm, I'm forgetting right now um, in there. But you guys can correct me in the comments. But th this seems more useful. I mean, you're going to get a lot of mileage out of your Grievous if you don't have him already. Wat Tambor. Best plug-and-play character in the game, hands down, in my opinion. Ahsoka might give him a run for his money, but I don't think so. Uh, he's just he's just too flexible. And then Magna Guard works in the Grievous team. So those are th three out of the five characters here, I would say, are very valuable relics. Clone Sergeant can be valuable. Qui-Gon Jinn, not so much. That one's more of a throwaway. But with the addition of Jedi Master Kenobi, we could see some increased viability for Qui-Gon Jinn Fingers crossed on that one. I would. I just. I don't want him to beef up the Padme team. I don't. It looks like Ahsoka's going to do that, and it looks like they've got some synergy indications here on Ahsoka's uh, reveal that that are going to fit with that. But I, I just. I'm really, really, really hoping that they make this a uh, a Jedi Council kind of affair for uh, for Kenobi. So by and large, pretty happy with this. I'm pleased. I'm surprised. I'm very surprised about Wat Tambor and Magna Guard. Grievous wouldn't have surprised me, even though I didn't predict it. I wouldn't have. I that didn't. It wouldn't have surprised me to see him. But Wat Tambor, Magna Guard, very, very unexpected. And now I think that definitely opens up the door to Cam being required in the last group. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comments below. How are you guys feeling? How close are you to GLK? Super exciting stuff. All right, fam, we're getting out of here. Love you guys. We will see you later.